grab a pillow to bolster, come towards the edge of it so that your bottom is resting on the edge or the ledge so that your knees and your hips kind of sway open. And then we'll start by just closing our eyes. Allowing yourself to arrive here. And then we'll imagine that someone's coming over to you and just gently applying pressure to the shoulders so that you feel the shoulders push away from the ears. Starting to grow a little bit taller through the spine. Notice what that does to your chest expansion. And then right here from this moment, notice how you're breathing. What is your body telling you from the way that it's breathing? This might be the first time all day that you've stopped to notice and connect with your breath. And then start to iron this breath out. So start to smooth out the edges here. So we'll inhale for a count of three. And nice and slow, breathe out for a count of five. Inhaling through the nose to warm and cleanse the air coming in. And then exhale, slowly purse the lips, blow the air out of the mouth. Notice if any tension is held in the forehead or the jaw or cheekbones. Just smoothly, calmly start to control and become more aware of how we're breathing. Notice if any thoughts pop up that you want to get moving, get grooving, just See if you can stay here for another moment or so together. And then place a hand on the heart, one hand on the low abdomen. Allow this therapeutic self touch, this connection that your hands are making to your body. Allow that to send a wonderful sensation of gratitude, of love, and of kindness to your body for showing up tonight, for being here. Knowing that every time you return to your mat, you return to yourself, you return to the notion of coming back home. And then throughout this practice and throughout any practice, just be there for yourself. This is one of those times that you can be completely selfish. I encourage you to be selfish and take this for whatever it is and whatever you need tonight or today, depending on what time zone you're in. And then place your hands back to your knees. And then we'll slowly start to stretch our shoulders up, back and down. So in our lymphatic yoga practice, we start with some breath. We just start with soothing the nervous system, calming everything down. And then we start to open up the large areas, the large clusters of lymph nodes in the body. So we'll place our hands to the belly, spread the fingers nice and wide, and we'll take five breaths like this. So as you inhale, give a little pressure into your belly. So you're pushing against the hands. And as you exhale, slowly lift the pressure of the hands as the belly comes back in towards the spine. So inhale to push, push, push. 
exhale to release and relax. Three more like this. Take your time. take our hands across our chest so if you have a t-shirt on or if you have a tank top get under it so you can really make skin to skin contact here if it's too much to cross the hands you can do one hand at a time but we'll take five to ten half circles coming in towards the neck so you're stretching back and in it's a light pressure, your palm is flat. Try to get as much surface area as you can. My palm is right over my clavicle on both sides and this is where all that lymphatic fluid enters back into the circulatory system. So we wanna clear this before we get to the extremity fluid pumping. And then come to the neck. Take your hands to the sides of the neck, the heels of my palms are pretty much together at the front of my neck and then stretch back and down so again you're stretching the skin this light pressure you might notice you need to swallow a little bit here that's okay soften the face just allow this to feel good and then come back to the chest where you started palms flat stretch in about five to ten half circles I call them stationary circles or little rainbows and then take your hands cross the body so if the hands are now in between the shoulder and the neck you're just going to bring that skin forward and in so if i'm doing it one at a time i'm just bringing that skin skin forward down and in so clearing all through here so again about five to ten times you can stay here or maybe you start to move the elbows a little bit as you do this I find a little bit more bang for your buck so as you're stretching the top of your shoulder your neck you're also getting a little pumping action into your armpits or your axillary lymph nodes one more time and then back to the chest for this final kind of clearing here. Now that we've shoven up everything, we've waked up all the neck and the shoulders. So back to the chest. And don't worry if this is your first time doing it and you're like, what the heck is she doing? I've got lots of videos. Leah's got lots of videos and we'll help you out. But once you get the hang of it, it really makes you feel better. And then release the hands, close your eyes, and just notice if a little bit of lightness has surrounded your upper body. Can you sit here a little bit more open and relaxed? Can you feel your body stretching from the top of your head down to your tailbone? And then we'll inhale to reach the arms up, stretch the arms up, and then exhale, make fists as you draw hands down into the ribs. Inhale to lift. So this is really good for upper body lymphedema or if you have any swelling in the hands. So you inhale to stretch up and then use those muscle pumps tight as you draw your elbows down. Breath in, lift. Exhale. Three more. Breath in. Breath out. Last one here, lift up, exhale, hands come to the knees. We're gonna rock our pelvis so that our chest starts to lift through our shoulder blades and then exhale to round and contract. So seated cat and cow. Inhale, breathe in through the nose. Exhale. Next few will take lion's breath. So inhale through the nose. And then as you exhale, stick out the tongue. A <sighs> few more like this. Make it weird. Nobody cares. Nobody's watching you. Just make it really ugly and release that tension as you blow <sighs> all of the air out. <sighs> a 
Last one here. Exhale, stick out the tongue. Rock yourself forward. We'll come over towards right knee, center, left knee, and back and around. So we've now woken up some of the main areas of lymph nodes. So now they're moving a little bit quicker. So the lymph vessels move very slow at rest. The lymph angions intrinsically contract very slowly. So at rest, everything's just inching along. But through yoga, through our MLD, our lymph drainage here, reverse the circle, go in the opposite direction, we can get those vessels to move quicker, the fluid drains quicker, we can clear the lymph nodes quicker and improve some lymph drainage to make you feel better, feel a little bit more light in the body. Notice here how it feels in the hips, in the shoulders, in the neck. Maybe get that head moving along with you as you rock and roll side to side. Breathing with each movement. Just noticing what you can let go of right here in the center of your body, your solar plexus, your area of power. Let go of the power. Just let your body guide you into what feels good. And then come back to center. Grow tall for a moment. Take a breath in. Let it out. And then we'll cross our hands to come to our shoulders. And we're going to draw our shoulders to press them down. And then we're going to make slow circles with the head, with the neck. So gently moving the head. First part of our vertebra here. Every time the ear comes to the shoulder, you feel a little stretch through the neck. And then reverse the circle, making sure not to hyperextend the neck too much, just slowly easing into this. Cracks and crinkles are welcomed <laughs> as long as there's no pain or discomfort. I encourage you to explore and notice what you can let go of. And then release the hands down. Scrunch up the face really nice and tight. So make the face as weird as possible. Scrunch up all the muscles of the face. Take a breath in, exhale, soften, let it go. And then we'll inhale, reach our left arm up towards the sky. And then exhale, light with the right fingertips. We're just gonna lean down towards the right, breathing here. Feeling the stretch from the hips to the side, ribs, the intercostal muscles in between the ribs. Feel the chest expand as you inhale to spread a little bit more open. Take a big breath here and then exhale. Take a look down at those right fingertips. Tap the left fingertips onto the earth and then inhale, sweep up and out. Exhale. Three more. Breath in, exhale, last one, big breath in, big breath out, and then inhale, let's both arms sweep up, exhale, hands come down to heart center, and we'll take the other side, so left fingertips down, right arm sweeps up and over, take a moment here to ground down through your bottom, Really lift up and over, feel the stretch through the tricep, side of the arm. Inhale to open up your body a little bit, swivel the chest so it goes up towards the sky, breath in. And then exhale, take a look down at those left fingertips, tap down, breath in to rise. Exhale, three more. one. And 
then inhale, lift both arms up. This time bring arms out in front of you. Relax the shoulders down, spread the fingers wide. Your next breath in, open up the chest as you lift the chin up, really getting the stretch through the front of the body here. And then exhale, you're gonna round to tuck the chin in, maybe grab for opposite shoulders. Inhale as you spread your arms, maybe a little bit of wrist extension at the top to get a little bit of a nerve glide. And then exhale, round. Moving freely, inhale to open. Exhale, big exhale out. Breath in. Exhale. Once more like this. Exhale. And then sweep the arms up, stretch the arms up. Palms facing one another, so palms facing forward. Spread the fingers really nice and wide. Breath in to lift through the side body. Exhale, slowly melt the palms down to the earth as the head relaxes, maybe coming off the bolster if you were on one. Noticing the hip stretch, noticing the low spine. And then plant those hands onto your mat and slowly guide yourself forward into all fours. So hands and knees. Spread your fingers wide. Tuck the toes under for a moment. And then really engage through the fingertips. So curl the fingertips in, feel the little space pop up in the palm. Feel the strength, slight bend in the elbows. And then untuck the toes and just tap the tops of the feet onto the earth. And then tuck the toes again. Inhale as you drop the belly, lift the chin, rise through the chest. And then exhale, round and contract as you bring belly up towards spine. Keep going, inhale to come forward. And then exhale, feel your body flowing through, tucking. Breath in, drops the belly, drops the chest, chin guides you through, and then exhale. Take three more like this. And then back to center, rock your body over towards the left wrist, center, right wrist, back and around. So big circles. Feel free to take big circles here or maybe doing a figure eight motion. Rocking side to side, back on the hips. Shake the head yes, shake it no. Reversing the circle if you haven't. And then allow the knees to come apart, big toes come together and sink your bottom down into a child's pose. Arms extend out in front of you, forehead meets the earth. We'll take some slow breaths here. Allow your forehead to connect down. Stretch through the arms a little bit more. If you want to tent the fingertips, so come up onto the fingertips and walk your fingers forward. The stretching of the skin here allows for those vessels to move the food a little bit better. And then lift your head and your chest up and we'll walk our hands over towards the right. Big side stretch down the left side of the body. And then coming back to center and walking over towards the left. Big side body stretch for the right. And then 
we'll come back to center, rising up onto the shins. So coming up onto the shins, tucking the toes under. Let's roll the shoulders a little bit more. So bring the shoulders up, back, and down. Now we're gonna pull all of that together with some core activating exercises. So inhale, reach your arms up, stretch up as high as you can. And then exhale, you're gonna slowly sweep the arms behind you as your chin hovers the earth. Inhale, big breath in to rise up, stretch back. Exhale. Breath in using your hips, your core, your chest to open, and then exhale, controlling your way down, lifting the triceps up a little bit higher. Three more, breath in to lift and rise. Exhale, let it all go. Last two, breath in. Exhale, last one. Exhale, and then lift up and rise up. We'll interlace the hands, shoot the palms up towards the sky, snuggle those biceps right by your ears. Breathe in, and then exhale, roll the wrists all the way down so that you come back to a seated position where we began. Closing your eyes, letting your hands rest onto the knees or your thighs. Notice the heart rate, slow things down. And we'll complete our practice with a little bit more manual lip drainage, specifically focused on the face and the neck, since today we're talking about the throat. So ease into this, we'll take a few more breaths together. Notice the energy shifting, moving throughout your body just from that short movement practice. And then we'll reconnect hands to the chest for five half circles here to help clear anything that has just come our way. And then up to the neck, stretch back and down. All it takes is just a few times, about five to eight to ten times. And then all of the fluid from our jaw, our cheekbones, all of the fluid in the face wants to drain out and then down. So we just have now cleared the chest and the throat. So now we want to start right in this chin area. So I like to make little of those half circles or rainbows starting at the the center of the chin and I take both hands and go out towards the ear. So it's just little half circle, half circle, light pressure, just making our way from the chin all the way towards the ear. We'll do that two more times. So you're just stretching the skin here in the direction of going towards the ear. And then next time you arrive at the ear, we'll make peace fingers, so spread the fingers wide and you'll take your earlobe right to this kind of swoop of the peace finger and you just stretch up, back and down so the palm is nice and flat. Again, trying to get maximal surface area. So this might feel really nice. Maybe the fingertips are touching the tops of the cheekbones there. Maybe that gives you a sense of comfort. And then come up towards the upper lip where a mustache would be. And you're gonna, again, do these little half circles towards the ear. Coming all the way up, just working this little half circle stretch. When you arrive at the eyebrows, maybe take the eyebrow between your index and thumb and give a little pinch and pull. I know that for me really releases any frontal lobe tension or any headaches. Just kind of working into the skin here. And then 
then on the forehead, little half circles on the forehead, and then start to bring it all the way down, coming back to the ears, and then back to the sides of the neck, fingertips meet the base of the skull where other lymph nodes are there, just massaging here and working it all the way down back to enter into the clavicles here. And we'll end here with our chest, half circles, soft body, calm mind, and then release the hands down. And then we'll find a comfortable position on our mats so if you had that bolster or pillow, maybe placing that underneath the knees, maybe getting a warm blanket over you or place the blanket to your center of your body. Relax your arms down by your sides. Heels connect to the earth. Palms face up to open the chest. Tuck the chin in ever so slightly so you can elongate the back of the spine, the top of the spine there, that cervical spine. The hip points rested, shoulder blades rested. Maybe see if you can snuggle your arms down a little bit so you feel the shoulders really rooted down. And then I welcome you to close your eyes. begin a brief meditation just to allow ourselves to absorb all of the benefits of that practice together. You opened your heart, your throat, your face. So just allow this cleansing and clearing happen now as we rest. minds as you inhale I'd like you to say I try my best and as you exhale you can say and I release the rest inhale I try my best exhale and I release the rest the exhale, filling the back body with air. your body be completely supported. Mind still. moments of this clearing, cleansing, restoring breath. Inhale fully. Exhale, sigh it out. Breath in. Exhale. Last one, big breath in. And then with 
wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, returning to a movement space. We'll inhale to reach the arms up past our ears, stretch the fingers, point the toes, create as much length and stretch as possible. And then exhale, draw the knees into the chest as you give yourself a little rock and roll side to side along the spine. Just massaging both sides of your back. Notice the shoulder blades, the back of the head, just as a gentle reminder of finding your grounding, finding your peace. Allowing yourself to self-soothe and calm yourself again. And then keeping the eyes closed, you can rest onto one side for a moment of stillness. Feel your body breathing. slowly, peacefully, making your way back up into a seated position where we began our practice. Keeping the eyes soft, without any urge to move or leave, just be here for another moment together. Notice if you're able to Breathe a little bit better. If your mind is a little bit more at ease. Filling yourself up with just the right amount of energy you need for the rest of the night, the day, the week. giving yourself the power to be in control of how much energy that is. And then return to one hand on the heart, one hand on the low abdomen, just to seal this intention of returning home, strength through the body, clearing through the mind. Take another breath in to feel yourself breathe. Exhale, let it go. And then we can inhale, reach our arms up for the last time together tonight. Palms come together and thumbs meet our third eye chakra, connecting mind to body. And then thumbs can come down to the heart, to the sternum, connecting to our heart chakra. And then we can bow to another to share our gratitude for one another. Thank you so much for being here.